I'm Paul, also known as the Elknet Guy. And what I want to talk to you today about is growls. I get a lot of emails on how do you growl? How are you getting that vibrating type resonance that a bull will introduce from time to time? Sometimes under anger, challenges, it just all depends. Well, you know, one of the best things that I like to do to uh, you when, when trying to use a growl is I like practicing without a read. Is I like giving it and, and then do it through the through my bugle tube, this chucker here. And so what I do is I'll is I will take that growl and I'll give it different levels so I can get an idea of what it each one what each one may sound like. Kind of a you see, it gives me an idea if I want to use that one for a particular situation or a want a little bit more. Or maybe I want one even a little more aggressive in the beginning of my bugle. I'm really challenging a good herd bull. And I might want to... And I'll throw my reed in with that. You see, so when you add that pitch to it, you're going to get that real serious sound that a bull will use when he's trying to intimidate or challenge another bull. Now, this isn't a sound you use all the time. And a lot of people like using a growl in the beginning of every bugle or at the end of every bugle. You don't need to do that. But the point here is, is how do you make the growl? So by using a little bit of voice inflection, along with your reed, putting your reed in your mouth, give it a little bit of a relaxed touch where your, where your contact point of your tongue and your reed is, so it gives a little bit of a vibration. And then you can increase that tongue pressure to go from the vibration or growl into the higher note. So I'm going to do something like this when I'm trying to do a growl. Hear how I'm vibrating that reed? Now, if I put too much tongue pressure, it would sound like this. See, I'm getting too much. So now you need to relax the tongue a little bit if that's what you're doing, and you'll start getting more uh, in control of trying to make the growl the type of growl you're looking for. Now, if you're going to do it through the tube, So you see how I'm going from a low stage up, and you can do the same thing if you're coming down off your bugle from a high pitch. All you got to do is relax your tongue and allow that growl to come back in. So do your practicing without the bugle. Do a lot of it. Here I'm putting the voice in it. So I'm getting a little voice inflection with it. you want to do it you can really get aggressive or just real mild like that but the point is is practice those things you can practice a lot without the tube even if you're driving in your rig but get that growl down with your voice as well as with the reed the combination of the two is what can give you the realistic tones thank you